Hey there, Aquarius. Uh, welcome to your reading for the week of October 7th. Uh, this week, we are going to jump right in here. Uh, you start off with this Pisces card. It says boundaries. Set and honor your boundaries to avoid being taken advantage of. You have this Temple of the Soul card. It says you're on a karmic path, so you can unravel the mysteries of your karmic debts. Uh, so boundaries comes up quite a bit in the readings right now and in general for like everybody. So, you know, it could be a good time for you to look at the boundaries that you're setting with people or to set healthier boundaries. You know, of course, that's always a good idea. Uh, you have the strength card, the hangman and the eight of wands. Uh, I kind of feel like this is about um, having the strength to see something um, from a new perspective. It's like sometimes we have to admit to ourselves that, you know, what we've been doing in life hasn't been working or isn't going in the right direction. And that's kind of the fe the feeling I get from this row right here because, you know, it it's literally spelt out in the cards, right? You know, strength is about having strength. Hangman is, of course, a new perspective. And the Eight of Wands uh, can be like a new direction. Uh, you know, I think something people forget about the Eight of Wands as well is that it can represent completion. So, you know, it can say that you're ending one thing and starting another, uh, but this could simply be like an, a new way of being or a new belief system uh, that you are uh, developing or a new direction that you are developing in your life. And uh, yeah, the whole entire reading basically says what I just said. I mean, you even have the tower here. I wouldn't worry too much about the tower. Tower's been coming up a lot lately. You know, there could be some global tower moments, which we've already seen. And, um, so I would just have strength uh, through those moments. Sorry, uh, I have a dog hair in my mouth. <laughs> Uh, but you have the strength card as your first card. The strength card is a display of strength, like she is being strong and she is taming this lion. And this lion represents like her inner critic, her inner voice, her inner demons. I think it's interesting in this reading that we go to the seven of wands to the fool. The seven of wands is a card of boundaries. Uh, the type of boundaries that we normally set with the seven of wands are kind of like drawing a line in the sand and saying, you know, this is what I'm willing to accept in my life and this is what I'm not willing to accept in my life. Uh, so some of you might be having a new beginning because of boundaries with the Fool card showing up here. Uh, this could also say that you don't feel ready to take a leap of faith, which I feel like I've said this to you before recently in some of your recent readings. It's like Seven of Wands, he feels a little bit rushed and, you know, he might be fearing a tower moment. You know, the tower doesn't necessarily mean you're going to have a tower moment. It could just mean that you're fearing having a tower moment uh, that might not even happen, right? And the Fool is kind of saying that it's time to take a leap of faith. It's almost like you've learned Learned something new or you've seen something in your life that's like difficult to accept uh, with the hangman I don't feel like this is bad necessarily I also you know I, I just feel like there could be an like something that you've learned or a, a, a conclusion that you've reached that is going to change the direction of your life and sometimes when that happens like it can be a little bit you know it's like we want to do it but you know it can be difficult to accept at the same time and that's you know basically what I said in this first row is that there is a change that is going to require strength because you have the strength card. Uh, and here is the change right here. Uh, Eight of Wands is a quick conclusion or, a, you know, can represent things happening quickly in your life as well. So I do feel that if there is a change that needs to be made, uh, you are going to be making it quickly. And, you know, again, there's really, I think that's a good thing. <laughs> you know, I don't feel like that is a bad thing that is going to be happening for you. Uh, also, if you want love, uh, there could be communication here because we have the Page of Cups with the Eight of Wands. Then we go up to the Two of Cups here as well. Uh, love could also be something that you're resisting. And of course, I would never tell anyone that they have to have love in their life. So obviously, if you're resisting it because you don't want it, then that is a you know, totally, totally different story. But if you do want it, then I feel the Seven of Wands, of course, is saying, you know, it could be a good time to open up to love. Uh, with the strength card, you have the death card. Yeah, I mean, just a, ma a major transformation. You even have this, um, oh, it doesn't say this, but you have this dragon card coming up. And for some reason, I thought it said transformation on it. And, but you do have a lot of very uh, transformative cards. So there's definitely a change coming in for you. Again, this could be any type of change. Like for some of you, I feel it's money, clearly. Uh, you end with the five of pentacles, but it's coming up in the good stuff. And again, you could just be, um, you know, you could be realizing that what you're doing isn't making enough money and now you need to make a change, right? And, you know, like I said, I don't think this is a bad thing. 
Uh, with the Hangman, you have the High Priestess. A lot of Pisces energy. You start with that Pisces card, then you have Hangman, and you have the High Priestess. Uh, this could be encouraging you to really tap into your intuition. Uh, it could be encouraging you to uh, kind of like go with the flow more. It could be encouraging you to dig into mysteries more as well, but also it could be encouraging you to be more flexible. You know, Pisces is the two fish swimming in two opposite directions, but it's like sometimes I think like if we're, you know, Pisces can simply say that if you're like doing one thing and it's not working, just like try the opposite. <laughs> and that's kind of popping into my head with this. The other thing about Pisces is the Pisces energy that we're getting here in this reading is that it's it can kind of represent needing to stack those small wins you know it's like if you're you have like a really big goal and you're not stacking those small wins like motivating yourself to get there then it's going to be a lot harder so uh, all of those things are popping into my head with this energy uh, with the Eight of Wands, you have the Knight of Pentacles as well. Uh, Knight of Pentacles is no movement. So the Eight of Wands says there needs to be movement uh, towards what you know, whatever uh, you know, whatever you have realized recently. Uh, you know, strength, hangman, that energy going on here. So I do feel that it is definitely time for you to make a move, even if you don't feel like you're ready. With that Seven of Wands, you know, we basically already said that the Knight of Pentacles is playing it too safe. You know, he's being too cautious and. You know, I feel this reading is saying it's time to uh, kind of like create a blowout here with the uh, tower. Uh, next in the area of what's coming in for you, you have this uh, drawing down the moon. It says knowledge on it. And you also have this void moon that says nothing. Just like I said with that Pisces energy, it's like maybe you're trying too hard. And it's like, believe it or not, sometimes not trying is the thing that we have to do. <laughs> or not trying to make something work. You know, I always say that sometimes I think that when we uh, really try really hard and things aren't working in our life, it's the, the problem is, is that we are trying hard. And, you know, um, we're basically by trying hard, we are telling the universe, Universe, for me to be successful, this has to be hard. <laughs> and so then things never work, right? And uh, trust me, as a person who has a crap ton of Capricorn in his chart, this has driven me nuts my entire life. My mom, I can't even tell you how many times she's told me that like I'm trying too hard, right? And it drives me crazy because like, you know, I have that Capricorn mindset. I believe that I should just be able to blast through things and, and climb to the top of the mountain and make it happen, right? But nothing ever works <laughs> when, when I do that. So I feel like this is saying, Maybe you're thinking too hard, or maybe you're thinking that you know you're trying too hard, and it can be simple. And maybe you need to believe that simplicity is possible for you. And I do kind of feel like this reading is saying that. You have the six of wands, the seven of wands, and the page of cups. Six of Wands, of course, is success and a victory, and he's sitting on this high horse here. He has earned his right. You know, horses in the tarot, especially the white horses, they represent assistance. And they kind of represent being lifted up. So it's like you've earned your right for the success that is coming in for you, but maybe you need to believe it a little bit more. I also feel uh, that this could say that you're very close to success because we have the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands, you know, I kind of feel saying, you know, well, let's put it this way. You know, again, he's been forced out of his house. He has two different shoes on. It kind of says that he feels like he wasn't ready to defend his position at the top of this hill. And, you know, I'm pretty sure I've been saying this to you in your past couple of readings. It's definitely come up. I'm pretty sure it was you, Aquarius. And, um, you know, it basically says that you might not feel ready for the changes that you're about to make, but it's like they're going to happen anyway. And, you know, the funny thing is, is with the tower, it's like we can choose to allow something to be a tower or we can just choose to accept the new reality and that makes things a lot better, right? You know, these people are falling out of the tower and, you know, the story of the tower is that they have been ignoring reality and they're just coming down to reality. So for a lot of you, uh, this could be you coming down to reality. I also, like, again, I don't feel too bad about this tower. I feel that some of you, um, this could be saying that you're taking something from fantasy to reality. You could be, mostly because we have the Page of Cups and the Page of Cups can, you know, say that you have a dream. He has this fish in the cup, but the fish might not exist. You know, the fish might be part of his imagination. And so he needs to basically bring his imagination down to earth. Um, and what do you know? We have the tower with these two people coming down to earth. The funny thing is, is that we go up to the Three of Swords, and the Three of Swords is coming up in the good stuff. And sometimes I feel that we are like worried that we're going to be, um, you know, that the fantasy isn't going to be as good as the reality, which is definitely true during Neptune and Pisces, by the way, which we have right now. Um, but I kind of feel that <laughs> um, that this right here is maybe you thinking, you, you know, it, it, it's basically saying that you've been disappointed in the past to me in this reading. 
And, you know, it's like maybe you've let your guard down in love or business or um, in your ideas that you work on. And it's like, it's almost like you are fearing being hurt again. And I feel like the three swords coming up in the good stuff is saying, actually, uh, this is going to be healing for you, this victory that is probably coming in for you with the six of wands. You have the chariot. Uh, both of these cards represent a victory or a big win. Uh, by the way, all of this right here and even that two of wands can just represent a move. So some of you might be thinking about moving or you might be moving. You might be planning a move. Uh, you might be planning on making a move. You know, the list goes on and on there. But if you're making a move, this will be a victory. Uh, with the Seven of Wands, you have the Page of Cups again. So I definitely feel that. For those of you that are wondering if you're ready for love, this would definitely say yes, clearly. Uh, I feel like this is going to be very good for you. Uh, one thing I will say is it's like this right here does say like, you know, again, the Neptune and Pisces, there are probably some things uh, that you're making up in your head. I always say my, you know, my biggest concern with relationships during Neptune and Pisces, fantasy is way more attractive than the reality. It basically just says, don't put the person or a person on a pedestal because you're going to be disappointed. And, you know, this right here is saying like, don't disappoint yourself by being like, oh, you know, this person's Superman or Superwoman or whatever you're dating, um, you know, kind of like keep it realistic, right? Uh, with the Page of Cups, you have the Four of Swords, literally a card of healing. So this kind of says that you have healed in this, you know, in your life or just you have healed something in your life and you're ready to make a move. Pretty simple, you know, pretty simple stuff. Uh, next in the area of what's come of, of messages from your future self, you have this discus fish card. It says society, vibrancy, and co-parenting. You have this dragon. It says ancient wisdom, protector, and magic. I kind of feel like you need to believe in magic. I feel like you need to believe that you are protected. Uh, the discus fish says society on it, and you have the tower. So I, I kind of feel the tower. Like I said, everybody's been getting the tower. I think that these could be issues in the world, which we're seeing, you know, we're going to see plenty more popping up and, you know, crazy stuff. And I feel like the tower is saying to everyone to keep their head on straight, to not, you know, panic in these, why, these crazy times that we live in and, and focus on the things that you can control right now. Uh, you have the Two of Cups, the Tower, and the Fool. I mean, this could also be a surprise. The Tower can just be a sudden insight or a sudden surprise that's happening for you. Uh, two of Cups is a perfect match. So if you want love, looks really good. Uh, two of Cups is usually someone who is different than your usual type. Uh, two of Cups can also be a person who comes from you know a different world, a different country, a different location, something like that. Uh, so Two of Cups is just a perfect match. Uh, I think that this it's also a great card for communication. Uh, if you don't want love, and even if you do, uh, they have, uh, you know, to me, this can also be a card of you and your higher self, like needing to communicate with your higher self. And it might be a good time for like meditation. We have the Four Swords here. It might be a good time to uh, communicate with your higher self in whatever way that you do it. Uh, again, you have the Tower. We've already talked about it. I feel like you're seeing a new reality uh, that you are having to embrace. Again, I, I think your first row perfectly describes how I feel about the tower. It's, it, it, you know, again, I think we all experience those situations in life where it's like we have to admit something to ourselves that we might not want to admit, right? <laughs> and I kind of feel like some of you could be having one of those moments. Is it a big deal? No, I don't think it's a big deal because you're admitting to yourself the reality of you know life or your situation or whatever, and that allows you to make the change that you need to make. So you know, again, I don't really feel this is a bad thing. Uh, you have the Fool. Uh, the Fool is a new beginning. Of course, really good card to have after the tower because it says that you will be taking a leap of faith in a new direction. Fool also says that you have learned uh, what you need to from the past, and now you can start this new journey with more confidence. Uh, the other thing is, is it, like the fear of looking foolish. You know, the fool can represent uh, the fear of looking like a fool if you do something. Um, but you know, usually the fool represents a positive new beginning. So I wouldn't really like if you're thinking about doing something, taking some sort of leap of faith. It could be in any area of your life, and you're afraid of looking foolish. Uh, then you know, I wouldn't really worry about it. I always say like, no one who's done anything important hasn't looked foolish. It's like pretty much everyone who's done something important has done something that makes them look like a fool. That's why they're successful. They're willing to look like a fool. So I feel for a lot of you, this is saying like embrace it. Uh, with the two of cups, you have the page, uh, queen of swords. It's like you're very clear on something here. The Queen of Swords is great clarity. She only has clouds halfway up her body, and it represents the fact that she sees things something clearly for the first time. So uh, you could, if you are in a connection, or you know, if you've recently started a new connection, which I do feel some of you have, then you could be getting clarity on it. Uh, with the Tower, you have the Hierophant. Yes, I mean, you, like I said, you can't make this stuff up. Hierophant is those beliefs. You know, Hierophant 
is belief uh, a belief system. He has a certain belief system that he is sharing, and you know, with the tower could definitely represent a shake up to your beliefs, or you know, there might be some sort something new that you believe about life or your life, or you know, could be one of a million different things. And you know, like I said, this could be the breakdown of a belief that you have. Again, this is very Neptune and Pisces. Neptune and Pisces can be like our traditional belief systems, and uh, Neptune and Pisces is a direct challenge to traditional beliefs. I've been saying this for years, and you know, there could be something you've always believed. Believed, and now you're finding out it's not true and uh, that is bringing you to reality uh, with the fool you have the nine of pentacles nine of pentacles really good card pre-empress energy and also a card of creating heaven on earth again the only if you're holding yourself back the only thing that you're holding yourself back from is heaven on earth right so nine of pentacles is gratitude luxuries good energy um you know good things coming in for you it's your environment as well so it's a great card for changing your environment and with all you know with all this stuff like here, it, you, a lot of you could definitely be changing your environment. Uh, you have this waxing moon. It says the energy is gaining momentum. You have this uh, new moon in Sag. It says luck is on your side. Love it. So definitely could be experiencing more luck at this time. Uh, uh, you know, I would say there is a has been a, just a ton of momentum in the reading. So like things are speeding up. You know, things are happening faster. And I would take advantage of this and you know create positive momentum in your life. Uh, next, you have the Three of Swords, the Two of Wands, and the Five of Pentacles. Three of Swords and the good stuff would say that you are forgiving the past and you're healing your heart. You know, those three swords are in your own heart and they represent the need uh, to take those swords out of your heart so that you can grow and be successful. And so a lot of you uh, could be uh, doing things to heal or um, to kind of like heal your heart or you already have healed your heart, which is a good thing. Uh, you have the two of wands. Uh, I, I kind of feel like the two of wands is saying you are ready. You know, he's something behind him is complete, this wand that stands on its own. And now he's reaching forward to something new, this new wand. And he has a whole world in his hands. So he can completely create or recreate a new world for himself. And that's kind of what he needs to do. He needs to leave this castle. I always say that he needs to create a new kingdom. You know, he created his first kingdom from a limited perspective and he rushed, you know, that's a story of the two wands that he rushed to a finish line. Uh, but if he took his time, it would have been a lot better. And so now he has the opportunity to build a new kingdom, which just could be a new environment uh, that you're putting yourself in. It could even be the same environment you're in. You could just be changing it or upgrading it and making it better. So, you know, that's what you need to do. Uh, you have the Five of Pentacles as well. I do feel, I felt it at the beginning of the reading, that there's something about you improving your finances. Uh, for some of you, again, I feel like you, the, the first row is saying that you're realizing um, that what you've been doing maybe isn't cutting it. Um, but again, I think this is a good thing because it's causing you to make a change that could be improving your finances. I also kind of feel you're becoming more confident. The Five of Pentacles is about calling attention to your weaknesses. So obviously in the good stuff, it would say that you're not focusing on your weaknesses. You're doubling down on your strengths, which is what I would do. Uh, with the Three of Swords, you have the Hermit. Yeah, it's like time to come out of Hermit mode. We see so many cards here that, you know, especially these two right here, or I should say the, you know, the Seven of Wands, is in even that Queen of Swords could say that it's like time to open up to the world or it's time to uh, meet new people. Even if you want love, could be time to open up to love uh, with those cards for sure. Uh, with the two wands, you have the moon, every single Pisces card that you could possibly imagine uh, right here. So I think getting into that, like, uh, you know, embracing a Piscean energy, right? I know I know that you're not a Pisces. I'm sure someone's going to correct me. But, um, you know, embracing that energy just because we aren't a sign doesn't mean that we don't have to work with uh, energy. So I kind of feel this uh, this reading is encouraging you to work with that Piscean, you know, a Piscean energy, being more flexible, go with the flow, stacking those small wins, like I said, um, you know, learning when to take action when not to take action but also i think that some of you are trying too hard on something and you know not trying too hard would probably help uh with the five of pentacles beautiful you have the star uh, this is exactly what we want to see after the tower because the star represents healing after a tower moment and the star is your card so i feel for a lot of you that um you know you are coming up in a position of power and strength 
Uh, you have this ant card that says work, achievement, success. Yeah, like, and here's the thing is that, you know, ants can carry like 900 times their body weight or whatever it is. I don't know what the math is, but, you know, the point is, is I, I think in life, we all have skill, certain skills where we can kind of lift more weight, right? And I feel a lot of the readings have really been focusing on this. Like a lot of the readings have been encouraging people uh, to get more specific about the skills that they have. And if there are skills where um, you can like lift more weight, meaning you can get more of an effect or a better result for the work that you do with that one skill, then I would double those are the skills I would double down on in life right is the skills where you can lift more weight where you get a better result for the thing that you do uh, you have this table it says hard work ahead yeah I, I still feel like you're going to be working hard again people always say I contradict myself but really I don't life isn't black or white number one um, but you know I, I know people like to think that it is but it's like a reading can say don't work hard but also work hard at the same exact time because um, it's like it, it's basically just saying don't try to like be in those positions where you're forcing things to happen now if you're working hard but you're getting more of a result meaning you put a certain amount of energy in but you get like double the energy back or whatever you know or double the money or whatever, then obviously though that is a good thing to work hard on. So you have to, you know, balance. Uh, with this, you have this December card. You also have this bag. It says something important, such as a new job or a raise. So again, in the month of Dece by by the month of December, you could be, uh, you know, kind of getting your bag here, Aquarius. Uh, you have this throne card. It says position of authority. I'm almost a million percent sure. Uh, that you've had this card with me. So I think that would be a great time to try to get like an authority position. Uh, you have this bell, it says announcement on it. So uh, that could be the tower as well. The tower can be like a surprise announcement or announcing something. And so there could be an important announcement here as well. But a pretty good reading here, Aquarius. I like where it's headed. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.